Alright guys, welcome back to the Outer Worlds, and I completely forgot I had my mind control ray. And now, I can, uh, go ahead and upgrade all of them when I get back to what I was doing, of course. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Um, but yeah, for right now, we're gonna go ahead and talk to this insurance agent. I see you're still in one piece. However, you never know when that could change. Consider our accidentally torn into tiny fragments coverage. Oh, I love it. Note that all of your fragments must be recovered and must be smaller than a standard bit cartridge for the payouts to kick in. I need to change the benefactory on Marilyn Fenhill's life insurance policy. I remember that one. That's the young socialite who broke her neck, right? Of course, no one remembers me for the marauders I've killed or the bits I've stolen. Typical. That claim was airtight. Our best investigators couldn't find an exclusion for that one. Let's stay on topic. I just want to change her beneficiary. You can't, of course. Only Miss Fenhill can assign her beneficiaries. And she's dead. If we let every friend, relative, and acquaintance change a policy like that, people would do it all the time. Imagine the paperwork. Okay, but how would I change it? Oh, you mean hypothetically. Well... Hypothetically, you'd access the terminal in the back room that contains data on all our policies. And you'd theoretically add the beneficiary of your choice. But you wouldn't actually do that, of course. That would be fraud. <laughs> yeah. Fraud. You'll do this or you'll be filing your own claim. That's for the best. What can I do for you? We'll do it ourselves. Oh, hi. Policy details, Marilyn Fenhill. Change beneficiary to Ellie Fenhill. All future payouts will be routed to Ellie Fenhill. What the hell? Oh, it's Ellie. I was Can like, what is this? Yeah, hold on one sec. No, oh, there's that cube again. You really did it. Give these payouts a few years and I'll be rolling in it. Congratulations, Ellie. Hey, you did the real work. All I had to do was not be dead. I'm just glad my folks aren't going to live off that awful story they made up. Maybe now they'll have to go back to real jobs. What are you going to do with all those bits? Come on. I thought we were celebrating. <laughs> you want me to think about the future? I guess not. Better to figure things out as you go. Why not? Maybe you haven't noticed, but you can't even count on a bribe making it into the right pocket. What's the point of planning for anything around here? That's the kind of thing that's running this place into the crapper. Hate to say it, but Halcyon's already there. Yeah, but you gotta make it better. Anyway, enough of that. You did a job for me, so here's your fee. I appreciate it, but I didn't do it for the money. Don't make it weird. Even you've gotta be in it for the money now and then. Why else would you go through all this trouble? You're my friend, Ellie. That's what friends do. You sure? Because my kind of friends will pick your pocket clean while they're getting hammered with you. I'm a doer, not a talker. Let's leave it at that. Friendship is important. What else are we fighting for if not for the people we care about? You don't have to get all mushy about it. Still, maybe you've got a point. Maybe it's good to watch someone's back now and then so that one day, they watch yours. So, you just keep the money. One of us has to look out for your interests. Wouldn't want to be indebted to me, huh? It's nothing personal. It's just the closest thing I've got to a code. Anyway, enough of the touchy feelies, huh? I want to talk about something else. Something on your mind? No. 
Okay, so that's Ellie's seemingly done. But who really knows? Oh, shoot. Ah! <laughs> um... Why are you doing that? Let's see... Lilia will want to know... Okay, so go back to the Groundbreaker. Groundbreaker. And getting these suits. I have a feeling like getting these suits might just be like traveling to where they are. Crew report. Bioka is drunk. <laughs> Surprise. Yeah, it's not really. Alright, so we can Byzantium Freight Port Landing Pad. Oh wait. Celestials hired you to help her create the ultimate outfit, the perfect marriage of the chic and shocking. See what the rest of Halcyon wears outside of Byzantium. Speak to Celeste while wearing a suit of armor and headpiece from the following sets. Iconoclast, Marauder, and Spacer. Okay, so we have to speak to her wearing all those. Do we have any stored away? Uh, let's see... This might be Spacer. Yeah, first got on the Groundbreaker. Iconoclast. We have a lot of Iconoclast. We need Spacer and Marder. Spacer. Would this count the helmet? Okay, there we go. Marder armor. Alright, so we should be good now. Oh wait, let me uh... Grab all my science weapons. And see about tinkering with them. Okay, it caps out at a thousand. How many levels can we go? I guess, oh, 35 probably. And that's it for this one. We can go up two more levels. Um, what does it do? 158 now. 15. 20, 13. It's only four. Wait, where's our fifth? Wasn't it five? Mind control, gloop gun. And this is the hammer. Did I not grab it? Oh yeah, I didn't grab the shrink ray. Forgot all about it. We won't spend all our money on it, but... Fifteen, fifteen, thirteen. We'll go down to fifteen thousand.
And how much do they weigh? Not too much. I guess I grabbed the silencer by accident. Or I took it away from somebody. I can break these down. These I'll be putting back in here once we're done with that. I'll be, I can sell all these. And sell that. Okay. I can't believe Byzantium is on Terra too. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. And the only person we still have a quest for is Parvati. Um, we haven't had one for Sam. I don't know if there is one. Um, I'll take Ellie off. We haven't had Vicar with us in a while, but these, what we're doing won't be... No, we'll take Parvati and Ellie again. Just because their, their banter might be funny. Then again, the Vicar might have been as well. You're like, why, you know, I... You're actually doing this or something or, you know, somewhere like that. Okay, so... Oh, that's an Iconoclast helmet. Now we're naked. Well, technically. Goodness! Look at those atrocious contours. The sheer brutality of its design offends the senses and shocks the mind into a state of palpable excitement. I adore it! Two outfits remain. I can't wait to see what you'll bring me. Something shocking, I hope. Okay. Spacer. I don't think... We have a spacer mask. Maybe that counts. I can't wait to see those outfits. If I do somehow drop dead in here... Promise me you'll drag my corpse somewhere with monsters. <laughs> what can I do for you, darling? Damn it. Okay, so this... Spacer outfit. Oh, I guess we'll do martyr real quick. But do we have a martyr helmet? Shoot. I guess we need a helmet as well. I can't wait to. If I were an enterprising spacer in need of a wardrobe, I'd probably head to the Groundbreaker. Have you ever been outside Byzantium? Outside Byzantium? Of course not. There's nothing for me outside Byzantium. Yeah, you're sending me all over Halcyon. Yes, and I'm terribly grateful you've agreed. Look, darling, I don't belong outside Byzantium any more than a fish belongs on the land. Anyway, I'm quite certain Byzantium wouldn't last three days without me. 
I'd return to a smoking ruin of hideous fabrics and mismatched colors. Yes. Oh, you said I was exactly what Byzantium needs. What did you mean? Byzantium has lost its élan vital. Everything about this city is so dreadfully stale. I want to make people uncomfortable the way you do. You're an outsider. You clearly don't belong in Byzantium, and yet you strut about, doing as you please. Never heard of a tailor who wants to make people uncomfortable. I'm not some common button monger, darling. I'm an artist. It's my job to make you uncomfortable. You're very welcome. Okay, so... Damn it. We also need the helmets. Uh, hopefully I have a martyr helmet and a spacer helmet. Uh, my guess is I have... Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. I doubt it. Okay. I can store my iron class armor. Um... I need a martyr helmet. I don't think... Oh, here. Hopefully that'll work, but I don't think I have martyr... It's the ultimate warrior. Where's my martyr stuff? Did I already put it away on accident? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I need a martyr helmet. Oh, right here. And just in case, I'm going to take this. And even something like this isn't too, like, oh, this is boring or tedious because you would really probably have this stuff just because, um, it's good to keep these outfits and everything for different stuff. Oh, how grotesque. I always suspected the dramas did no justice to real marauders. Their armor is so much more hideous in person. One outfit left. Do hurry, my dear. The bird of inspiration is about to take flight. Okay, so hopefully this is what they were talking about. I can't wait. No. A spacer. I can't No. Spacer gear. Alright, so let me put on my normal stuff. What the hell was I wearing this? 53 and... I think that one. I can put everything else back. Face her gear on the unreliable. Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. I'm sure they are. Why do I have these? 33, 29, 35. Does any of my guys need it? 36. 38 38 
34. 34. No. Let's see. Science plus 3. Oh, that could actually be useful. Persuade. I have full persuade. Handguns. I'm not going to switch out armor just for that, so we'll keep the science one though. Okay, so we need to head to the ground breaker. Whoops. We've arrived at the ground breaker. I'll lock up. Thank you, Ada. Um, Spacer. I don't know, I guess i just never seen... I mean, it doesn't mean Spacer's Choice, because I had on Spacer's Choice gear. What can I do for you? Need some Adreno? It's good for you. Spacer's promised. Don't take my word for it. See for uh, Have a look. All right. Airman Ballistics. Does he mean the Moon Man stuff? Because I have Airman Ballistics. Let me check. No one be there. Ike's Armory, Engineering, Ani Cleo's. It's not going to be there. Didn't seem oh. to make me any quieter. Hmm, that mod was for your gun, not your smart mouth. You want to bust my chops? Do it over drinks next time I'm on station. Please don't mind her. Everything I sell works as advertised. Some people just like to sass me because I don't bite back. Didn't know they were going to have sassy dialogue. Lost Hope is just that. Okay, so... Last place to check is the rest in go. If you're here for this, I found it. Nothing there. Nothing quest related either. Airmen Ballistics and Airmen Ballistics. Drunk. Surprise. Okay. Airmen ballistics. Of course, what am I wearing? I am wearing an airmen ballistics, one of those. So I would just need a helmet. Air and ballistics and okay. All 
Alright, so let's see if this does it. It's the only thing I can think of. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. And I have a suspicious feeling that we may not be traveling to some of these other planets that we see. Because there's like, I keep hearing how it's kind of short, it's kind of short, you know, it's... And so far, you know, I've, pl I've played for... This will be, whoops, god damn it, I wouldn't pay attention. This will be like 36 hours for me, and I haven't died that much except for the beginning. Um, so it doesn't seem to be too short for me. I can't wait to see those outfits. What can I do for you, darling? Space or gear? Remember that I can't. What can I do? Like a star, darling. Square your shoulders. Hand on your hip. Eyebrow cocked. Yes. Perfect. My heart is all a flutter. Yes, that's it. I have it. I know exactly what we're doing. Brace yourself, my dear. We're going to call this style Barbarian Chic. All right. The saucy confidence of a spacer. The raw contempt of an iconoclast. The brutish musk of a marauder. And the pièce de résistance. Monster leather. One part Manticreen chitin, three parts hide from a Raptodon's flank, and let's say, oh, eight strips of primal leather. No, make that ten. I was expecting a simple modeling job. We're revolutionizing the fashion of Byzantium. Our work is anything but simple. I'm not some backwater laborer's list. I don't work for free. I love the way you just smolder with contempt. It makes me want to spoil you. Here, treat yourself to a nice new gun or something. Get this done for me, and I'll have you strutting about in a Jolicoeur original. You will be the envy of Byzantium. Alright, so guys, I cut out a little bit just so you won't have to see me going back to the thing. So it's it was basically normal everyday attire I guess and this how I got this one and this one just cuz I didn't know which one it would be um, but I'll just uh, put my other stuff back on it's not that one obviously um, oh there it is I was like where's my stuff so for her thing, we need 10 primal leather. God damn it. Three pieces of wrapped it on flank hide. Chitin of a Manta Queen. So, Monarch and Emerald Veil. Vale. Damn it, I had so much of this stuff. Well then, this part might just be the fashion show. <laughs> so we have to do a lot of stuff. You're adjusting before you pull. You anticipate. They do that all the time. So we have to go to Monarch for two things and Edgewater for one. Let's go to Monarch first so we can get two of them done. I guess we'll go to Cascadia since it's already out in the open. We're in orbit over Cascadia, Captain. That's not account of your stamp. Remember that you. Wait, this is so far. This is the only quest in the entire game where it's like, ugh, really. 
I have to do that. Okay. Raptodons and Manta Queens. Well, let's hope we can find some. Easy enough. That hurt, really. Still can't go out here, can we? Nah. Edgewater don't end up like this. You take us to the nicest places, Captain. Well, you know me. Getting my target practice in today. Okay, so we got Mantasaur. There's a Manta Queen. Wow, that's a lot of mana swarms. Alright, so we got one. Now we need three Raptodon flank hides. Raptodon. Damn, it's just meat. Wow, how did you go down so fast, Ellie? Oh, it's mega. Okay, so we got one flank hide. I know there's another one around here that I killed. Oh, here it is. Alright, that's two, so we need one more. And here we go. Pretty much guaranteed to get at least one over here. I got another fight in me. There we go. Cross of weakness, no thank you. Alright, so let's go ahead, travel back to Unreliable, we'll go to, what do they say, um, Edgewater? 
Crew report. Bioka is drunk. Surprise. Emerald Veil, that's what it was. Hedgewater, not there. Where the hell was Emerald Veil? Well, I know there's a bunch in Edgewater. But yeah, Emerald Veil. Yeah, there we go. Here in Scylla are really the only places I've seen primals. There's some monitors. Okay, here we go. Wow, he died quick. Okay. I wish I knew where that one place was where there are all those primals and I was too low level to really kill them. Oh. Okay, so make sure it's right. Say it's not working. I don't want to take any longer finding it than I have to, so I don't want them to become ash. Okay, two leathers, three leathers. Alright, that's where martyrs are. I do remember primals being over that way, though. Wait, what the hell is up here? <gasps> you can see the whole world from here. Volcanic Summit. Did not know. about all this. Cool. Well, I think I 
Might have got myself stuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm stuck. Primal nest. Probably the best place to find primals. Wow, there are a lot of them. I think this might have been the place I was talking about. Search that one. All right, we got it all. And yeah, this was the place I was talking about. So we've, I think we've found every place here. Overlap. Oh, okay, so it was a special weapon. kinda glad now that we had to do this and I guess if you know exactly where to go this one isn't annoying at all because it took me what seven eight minutes to the entire thing transfer that back in there because I don't need it Finally. What can I do for you, darling? Mana Queen, Chitin, Raptor Dunhide, Primal Leather. All done. I've been thinking of a name for this new outfit. Chimera. Crafted from the hides of three species of monster. While you were gone, I put in an order for one of my bespoke lapels. Solid gold. Diamond encrusted. If it doesn't have one of my lapels, it's not a Jolicar original. Those slackwits at HPS are holding my parcel while they wait for a signature. Bureaucracy is so utterly insufferable. Be a dear and retrieve it for me. You're asking a lot from me. Understatement of the year, darling. Believe me, I'm every bit as frustrated as you are. Wow. Alright, I'll get you that parcel. Wonderful! I'm giving you authorization to retrieve this parcel on my behalf. You truly are my savior, darling. Oh my god. Gain writ of consent. Where the hell do we have to go? 
Every Joshua original comes with a handcrafted golden lapel. Celeste ordered a lapel to commemorate her prototype, but the parcel must be signed for. And it's still at HPS. Head to HPS and retrieve the parcel. Oh! We were recently there. Yeah. I love the Zantium. What else are you going to find? The best find Wish I could do that. Well, nobody's watching. Oh! Alright guys, let's uh, come all the way in. Got it. Okay. He passed. Basically just stealing mail. Keep looking over because I don't know when that guy's gonna just walk by. Oh, hey, man, what's up? You would think there'd be something odd in one of these. Oh, what shit. do you think you're doing? God damn it. Yeah, yeah, move along. Right when he came walking across. Alright, nothing crazy. So that's the other way to get in there, okay. What the fuck? Hey, careful. Don't go running around in the middle of a crime scene. What happened to Celeste? You mean Ms. Jolie Kerr? She was reported for practicing a subversive aesthetic. We found her in her office, working on something perverse. She didn't cooperate, so we had to put her down. Never took her for a dissident sympathizer. You killed Celeste, that's insane. No argument there. Feels like the whole colony's going insane. What with dissidents infiltrating the walls of Byzantium. Byzantium cultural standards are enforced by universal defense logistics. Universal defense logistics. Your first and last line of defense in the war against sedition. The fuck, people? Fuck away, Windows 10. Okay, so we got it.
we'll go back to the unreliable and see what it can do for us. All right. Chimera Jolikyo. Dialogue skills plus 10. An exquisite outfit crafted by Celeste Jocelyn. This suit provides as much protection as standard heavy armor. Wow, it's 53. <laughs> uh, and it's way better than ours. But we can't mod it, unfortunately. So that puts our carry weight down to 150. No, it's always at 150. Okay. It's so good. It only weighs a pound versus this one, which is five. Report: Bioka is drunk. Surprise. She's always fucking drunk. We gotta go to the groundbreaker for Parvati. The groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. All right. She's on her way. How do I look? You look terrific. Oh, my hands have finally stopped shaking. All right, all right. Deep breath. Here I go. You aren't in your outfit, though. Check in on the date. Anyhow, so I told him, Dad, I'm a big girl now. I ain't need your help. I can do it on my lonesome. What did he say to that? She has on the suit I do. And he handed me his favorite wrench. The one he used to hit her. It's all it's Head to the kitchen and see how the date is going. Provati and Junli seem to be having a great time. You should leave the ship and let them enjoy their date together. Half as tall as I was. All right. Can I, can I eat some of that, though? I'm not going to take Parvati. Now what, do we just go back in? Yeah. <laughs> so, now hold on. What happens if we hit the... Okay, Captain, she's gone. Did it go well? I want the details. All the details. Did it go well? I'm near about vibrating. I'm so excited. So she got here, and after a few minutes, she said, Hey, do you have some new parts? And I was like, Nah, I used a new soap. And then she just sort of touched my arm real gentle like and called the cut of my outfit elegant. I couldn't hear the rest on account of my heart was beating so hard. Then I led her into the kitchen. I think she about cried when she saw the spread. So you laid out the meal, brought June in. And started the music. She stood stock still and just said, Oh, real soft. Oh, and let me tell you, I was sweating. And then she blinked and said, Is that dustback casserole? I told her how we got Mr. Raymond to bake it for us. So it was double authentic. Made by a real live... Monar monarchian? Monarchist? Monarch person. <laughs> so the meal went well. Is there too? Well, we talked a bunch over dinner about... The things we learned just through messages, stuff we repaired, how I taught her to salvage, and she taught me to build. When I brung out the sweetheart cakes, June, she got a little teary, said she had a thing she needed to say. But I stopped her because I wanted to say it first. I never felt so bold, Captain. And? I told her about how she made me feel. Bold like I acted. Strong. Smarter and kinder than I am on my lonesome. I listed all the things I liked about her. 
And then she pulled out a paper and read a speech. She she talked about the things she admired about me, like my cleverness and my humor and how it made her want to be more open. What happened next? Don't leave me in suspense. Anyhow, when she wrapped up, I asked her to be my girlfriend. And Captain, she said yes! What about your disinterest and physical affection? We talked about it some. I told her I wasn't sure how it would work, how I've had a bad time of it in the past. She said we'll take it as it comes. Fix things together. Share meals. Talk. Maybe she could rub my shoulders when they're sore. I said I might like that. That was very sweet. Congratulations. It's all on your account, you know. Imagine if you'd never taken me out of Edgewater. I'd have never met Junlei at all. I don't know nothing about the Vicar's capital P plan, but you've sure changed my life. So, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna head to my cabin and happy screaming to my pillow for like an hour. <laughs> That's awesome. 48,000 XP for that. Picture of June Lee and Pavardi. Alright, let's see how, if anything's changed. It said, I got a picture? Do I have anything in here? Whoops. There must be one, and it must be in her room. Why would it be in mine? That's her dad. Huh. Not seeing a picture anywhere. It wouldn't be in the bathroom. Nothing in here. I like how this is now in here as target practice. I have no idea where it is. Um, now we can do that Chimera's last experiment. And that's, we're already here. So what we're going to do is go ahead and head out here. Um, let's see, we'll take... The Vicar? Yeah. We'll take the Vicar. We're going to end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I love the ending to Parvati's companion quest. It was amazing. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.